Well, it's the middle of January and it's the perfect time to get started on building a floating dock. As you can see, there's a bit of ice on the water. And we just had a January thaw, so uh, this is going to get thicker and there's going to be lots more snow on it. But uh, that's going to be my project for the winter. I'm going to prefab it in the garage, uh, cut everything, got all the fittings on it, uh, do a dry fit next to the garage, and then bring it down here and set it all up uh, on the ice about uh, end of February. And uh, then when the ice melts, uh, it'll be already floating. I won't have to struggle to uh, get a, a 12 by 16 foot floating dock into the water. That's the plan. I got a good pile of lumber here. This is all pressure treated lumber. I have down here on the floor, I have decking boards, 12 feet long, and these are uh, 5 8 by 5 and a half inches. And that sun's a little bit bright. I've got uh, 2 by 8, 12 feet long, and 2 by 8, 16 feet long. All piled in here next to my boat that I'm refinishing. Uh, this is the, the lumber that I'm going to be using to build my floating dock this winter. And here are my 55 gallon barrels. I got a good deal on them uh, at the end of the summer. 10 bucks Canadian each and then 50 bucks to deliver them. So I've got uh, 12 barrels. That'll be the flotation for my floating dock. All right, so it's a nice day in the garage. It's five Celsius um, early in February, and I'm just starting to uh, lay out the dock. And I just started with a couple of lines where uh, the 16 foot beams will be connecting in. I'm just using this old uh, chunk of scrap and that just for um, lining things up. And uh, next thing I'll do, be doing is I'm drilling some holes for these brackets. And I'll be placing them lower down on the 12 foot, uh, the 2 by 8. And because I want to have a bit of room up here for um, a 2 by 2 to go along for uh, as a nailing strip for when I put the um, decking boards on. So I'm going to start uh, laying things out and uh, drilling some holes. Well, I got the brackets in place with the bolts coming through. I've got washers on them. I don't have the nuts yet because they sold me the wrong size nuts. So I got to take those back to the hardware store. I have them on uh, both ends. And so after I go to the hardware store, I'll come back and put the nuts on. So I've got the corner brackets on, and now I'm going to be putting the uh, center brackets on. They're actually, I'm just going to use um, joist brackets. Anyways, I have marked it in 25 inches, so I have room for the barrel to squeeze in. Uh, even though the barrel is only 23 and a half. Uh, when I add uh, a 2x2 two two strip to the top uh, of the 16-footer, uh, then um, uh, it'll make it a little bit snug to put the barrel down through. And I want to be able to drop the barrel in through the top. Anyways, that's what I'm going to do next. So I've got the outer brackets on, and now I'm going to do the center brackets. So I just measured to the uh, center of the plank and then one foot out on each side. So I'll have a 24 inch spacing for the barrel. I have all the brackets in place. And uh, when I have the 16 foot cross sections come in, they will just sit in like that. All right, next step. 
I need to uh, measure and mount the dock hinge. All right, so this is going to be uh, holding um, this floating dock to uh, my other dock, the smaller dock. Anyways, I need to go down and measure that. So I've got the hinge brackets on. I mounted six feet apart. So these 12 foot sections are done. So now I have to get them out of the way and start working on the 16 foot sections. All right, on the 16 foot planks, first thing I'm going to be putting on is this uh, two by two edging, uh, just so that I have uh, more of a nailing ledge to, na uh, to screw down to with the decking boards. Uh, and then I will be adding these little brackets here, uh, 37 inches in. Then I'll have another one further along and two more. And uh, they will actually have a cross piece of two by four. And that is just to keep the barrel from shifting uh, along the, uh, the plank. All right, I got the two outside 16 footers complete. I'll now be uh, moving to the four um, joists that go on the inside. All right, all the uh, longitudinal beams are complete. I have these little cross sections every 36 and a half inches in between. And they will hold the two by four uh, just to keep the barrels from shifting around. And that's their only purpose. Anyways, it's getting pretty crowded in here. Uh, I now have to start cutting the 2x4 cross section. So I have all the 2x4 pieces uh, cut for the little cross sections there to hold the barrels in and uh, keep them from shifting around. I've also gone back to the 12 foot main sections, added a little piece of 2x4 here. This is to prevent, and just in case the barrels ever shifted forward due to the ice, and made made contact with the end of the bolts might end up uh, damaging the barrel so just added that in i had a few spare pieces so i uh, figured that'll be uh, helpful well it's february 7th and i think today i'm going to be uh, attempting to start to set up the dock down here that's where i'm going to be setting it up right there uh, first thing though i want to uh, Put the dock hinges on the old part of the dock and uh, so to do that properly I need to um, drill some holes get some bolts through and I'll bring the first 12 foot piece down bolt it to the side uh, to the end of the dock here and uh, then detach it from the hinges just so it'll be all ready in the springtime to connect up well, I have the uh, 1 12 foot piece uh, hinged to the existing dock. I've got the pins through it. Uh, just make sure everything lines up. Now I can just disconnect that and uh, leave that part to spring. I'll know that it lines up uh, perfectly. All right, so now I've started moving all the pieces down the hill that is the biggest job getting it from the garage down the hill those things are heavy and walking through the snow doesn't make it any easier anyways uh that's the next job and one last thing that i did i put some loctite on the ends of the bolts just to uh, keep them from coming unraveled because i uh, only tighten them up uh, a bit so that the front bracket has some movement case it has to move around. I'm going to be using Loctite on all the bolts. And down the hill I have all 12 barrels so uh, now I'll I think I'll just use a few of the barrels uh, for leveling up the platform. Frame is supported on the barrels. I'm going to put the uh, cross sections in next just to get it all fitting together and uh, then I will do the squaring up. Well that's all I'm going to do today. I've got everything just sitting in place. Um, 
I want to replace the end joist brackets with uh, some right angle brackets for extra strength in that um, having second thoughts uh, the ice could do a lot of damage uh, to the frame so I want to um, secure it as best as possible and now is the time to do it so I need to go and order some more brackets all right it's 243 inches from corner to corner and that matches up exactly with the other corner to corner and I haven't done anything that's just the way it turned out I'm spot on anyways on to the next phase all right everything is uh, fastened with the uh, screws tightened I've taken the uh, the brackets off um, and I'll be putting on my new brackets when I get them so I'll have to leave the ends uh, blank for now but I started putting uh, decking boards across and of course I uh, measured a center line just to make sure everything is square and stays square and so I'm going to proceed with putting uh, decking boards on now All right, good day's job. Uh, I have all the barrels in their proper position, sitting there. Um, I've got some of the decking on. The This uh, center decking is uh, now it's supporting everything because it's on right resting on the barrels. Um, I still have to put the outer brackets in position when I get them and then I could put the rest of the uh, decking on. Um, I need to attach the barrels together uh, looping one from here to here using um, some sort of cable system and uh, that's just in case in a, a storm that if the dock ever uh, moved or whatever that the barrels would uh, be stuck in place. They're basically going to be free floating uh, in the dock position. And uh, yeah, it's coming along good. So, with all 12 barrels in place and some of the decking started, I have to pause to uh, drill holes uh, through the lip of the barrel. <clears throat> and then I'm putting a little um, I think they call it just aircraft wire. It's an eighth inch uh, wire with a little cleat. And I just use my hammers to pound them together. And what that, I'm hoping that what that'll do is provide a very strong connection between the barrels. And that is over top of the two by four. So that, say in the summertime, we had a violent storm here and the dock got rocking so violently that a barrel would want to pop out and escape this will prevent it it's, it's locked to the next barrel over top of a two by four so unless that wire breaks or that joint breaks it's not going anywhere however it could free float around and uh, anyways that's uh, how I'm going to try and protect the barrels for now if I have to change that in the future I could always uh, take the boards off and do something else, but I think the, I think this should be okay. All right, so I have all the barrels connected together now with uh, a tie wire, and uh, so now I'm going to start uh, finishing the decking. Well, I got the decking all on one end except for the last piece and I'm going to leave that uh, off until I get my brackets that I have on order. Um, these are these will be corner support brackets that will go right across on these joists. Uh, <clears throat> I decided to go with those because uh, the the stress that can be put on a dock in the winter time in the, with the ice 
um, I think would be way more than what uh, Sandra Joyce uh, brackets would, would handle. So anyways, I'm going with some solid brackets. So I've got the new brackets on the uh, longitudinal joists at the, at the front. I'm just going to go around and do the, the back, but they're just uh, this type of a bracket, four holes in it, whereas my other ones, uh, they had eight holes in it, so they're a larger bracket, but uh, these should hold fine. Well, I have everything completed. Uh, I've got ropes tying it to the shore. Um, so when the ice melts, it'll start floating right here, no problem. The only thing left I have to do is uh, stain the deck, put some cleats on it, and a uh, bumper pad along the edges. And uh, I need a little bit warmer weather to stain it. Um, otherwise it just won't dry. Uh, need to do a little bit of repair work on my old dock. Uh, add a couple brackets um, inside where the uh, 2x8's pulling away from the studs. But I'm quite happy with this. And uh, that's a heavy beast if I had to uh, somehow build it on land and then move it to the water. I don't know where I would do that. don't think I have room on the property to do that. Anyways, uh, wait for the water to, or the ice to melt and uh, see how everything goes. Well, this is March the 6th, and in the last couple of weeks, we've had uh, winter come back and a good dumping of snow. Um, but before that happened, I was able to uh, fix my dock platform, straighten it out, and I'd, the ramp I had uh, pulled the pins and dropped it, which is what I should have done in the fall. Uh, everything's still floating loose, but frozen in place. So... I am estimating another 10 days and uh, we'll be ice free. We will see. All right, it's March 21st and you can see that the ice has gone out. Uh, a little bit left here, but not enough to worry. And the dock is just floating perfectly. So I'm going to be hooking up my old dock, the ramp, plus the old dock, and then connect the new one up today. And there it is. Everything's all joined together. Went together perfectly. It took me, oh, 10 minutes to float it out, put it in place. This will do a lot better. I might be sticking a little bit out too far in the water, but we'll see.